Moving Axis Aircraft Simulator was finished in October of 2008, and this was a time to celebrate. We had overcame many challenges to reach this point. We built and experimented with 12 different designs for our motion flight simulator and had pushed the limits of our little company. Now it was finally done. People sent cards and emails that said congratulations on your achievement and well done. We had a rollout party and people got to try the simulator and they had fun. But I wasn't satisfied with it. I knew that I could build a better motion flight simulator and I wanted to start immediately, but I couldn't afford to. I didn't manage the expenses very well with the Max project. I charged all of the building materials onto a credit card, bad idea, and I took money out of my personal savings account to live off of during the six month construction project. If that wasn't enough, the economy sunk into a deep depression during 2008 and we were selling fewer do-it-yourself videos. We had planned on making revenue with the Max by taking it to air shows, but I took too long to build it and missed the entire 2008 air show season. As it turns out, we couldn't have made much money with it anyway. Our expenses would have been higher because uh, we would have needed business liability insurance and such. Now I'll tell you about the end of the MAX project. I needed a place to store the simulator for the winter. It couldn't stay in my garage, so I asked around to see if there was a place I could store it for free, but everyone was freaking out about the recession and they weren't in the mood to talk about free stuff. So I partially disassembled the simulator. I took the fuselage off of the base and my idea was to prop up the fuselage against the wall of the garage. At one point I lifted up on part of the nose that I forgot was not structural and I busted off part of the nose. Now that's not necessarily fatal. I built this thing from scratch, I can certainly fix it, but why bother to fix it? It was never going to produce any revenue. It was a failure as a business experiment. That's no reason to quit though, quite the opposite. The Max experiment served a very important purpose. By working on this simulator, I got the idea for a much better motion flight simulator. As it's happened so many times before, I had to work on the mediocre idea before the great idea would reveal itself. Everything I don't like about the Max, I can fix by building a new flight simulator. But that takes me to the end of the story. In October of 2008, I had other problems to deal with. I needed money and health insurance, so I had to get a job. And this is where the Max story ends. I got a job at the same hardware store where I had spent all that money on building materials for the Max project. So now what? In a previous video I told you about my role models, so I asked myself if my role models were here what would they tell me? We need to have the ability to look at crazy ideas, and that involves the ability to fail. If you're not allowed to fail, then you can't stretch the envelope, and you're stuck always doing very, very small improvements. You have breakthroughs when you're trying to survive. You have breakthroughs when you have a business survival.
problem. And the only way that this is going to happen is with self-inspiration, self-determination, and hard work that starts before everybody else gets up and after everybody else has gone to sleep. Verily, I tell you with all the enthusiasm at my command, that you may find in your adversities the necessary challenge to inspire you on to success such as you never would have known without these experiences. the will to do whatever is necessary to make good on the ambition for that cause. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve, regardless of how many times you may have failed in the past or how lofty your aims and hopes may be. Kick your own ass. Go for it. Follow your dreams. Kick your own ass. So insanely dedicated because they have confidence in nonsense. Kick your own ass. I want something.